time to go on. All right, so a pumping rate. Um, this kind of a question would be like, they, they want you to find out how much sludge is settling out in your primary clarifier. And uh, so if um, the primary pumps 100 gallons per minute, and they want to run the primary pumps once an hour, how many uh, minutes do you need to run the pump per hour to get rid of all the sludge that's going to settle out in that day? So uh, this is just like uh, on the grade two when they wanted to know how much sludge was f settling out in the clarifier. It's the same exact thing, except you're gonna do more steps to find out how many uh, minutes should the pumps be running. So let's find out how much is settling out into my clarifier. So I got 220 going in and 115 coming out. So uh, if I take 220 minus 115, that means 105 milligrams per liter of TSS is settling out into my clarifier. Let's figure out how many pounds are settling out. So 5 mgd, which is my flow, times 8.34 pounds per gallon, times 105 milligrams per liter, which is how much is settling out, should give you a pounds of 4,379. So now we need to do a reverse pi to figure out how many gallons are settling out. So uh, if you look on your cheat sheet, and remember that 1% equals 10,000 milligrams per liter. So if I have 4.3% times 10,000 milligrams per liter per percent, that equals 43,000 milligrams per liter. So this sludge uh, is 43,000 milligrams per liter concentration. So I have 4,379 pounds of that sludge at a concentration of 43,000 milligrams per liter so I take this number and divide it by that number and that number and it'll give me the flow in MGD or the or the gallons in it in million gallons so it's 0 0.0122 MGD so that's how many million gallons are settling out per day multiply that by a million and you should get 12,220 gallons per day so that was a grade two problem right there. Just figuring out how much sludge is settling out into my clarifier. But what they want to know now is that if the pumps pump 100 gallons per minute and they want to run them once an hour, how many minutes do they need to run during that uh, one time that they're run per hour? So that's the next problem. So let's go ahead. So we have a total in one day of 12,200 gallons. So now we need to figure out how many hours. Well, there's 24 hours in a day. So how much sludge per hour? So 12,200 divided by 24 hours in a day gives you 508 gallons per hour. So in one hour, I have 508 gallons settling out. All right, so 508 gallons per hour, the pumps pump 100 gallons per minute. So this is what I need to get rid of every single hour because they only want to run the pumps an hour, once an hour. So 508 gallons per hour divided by 100 gallons per minute will give you 5.1 minutes per hour. So it's just two extra steps that you have to do. And uh, so what this says is I got 12,200 gallons per day of sludge. How, many sl how much sludge do I have per hour? So divided by 24 hours per day equals 508 gallons per hour. And I need to get rid of that every hour in one run. So if the pumps pump 100 gallons per minute and I got to get rid of 508 gallons, it's going to take 5.1 minutes for those pumps to pump out that sludge. So that's how long I need to run the primary pumps per hour. So every hour, this pump will kick on and run for 5.1 minutes and then kick off. And there's a simple way to check that. And all you have to do is take 5.1 minutes per hour times 100 gallons per minute. You're basically doing it all backwards. So 5.1 times 100 times 24 hours per day. So if I ran the pump for 5.1 minutes and it pumps 100 gallons per minute, so multiply those two together. So that's um, how much sled you're going to make in an hour basically, it's this backwards, times 24 hours per day equals 12,240. So it's a slightly different number, but uh, that's because we've done some rounding, and so the number's going to be a little different, but it's essentially the same number. What's 40 gallons, you know? 
So uh, a, a pretty easy problem, not that hard at all. Just uh, if you did the grade two and you got this on your grade two, it's just two more steps. Not very much harder. All right, uh, chemical dosing. Um, so chemical dosing is fairly simple. It's pounds formula, two pounds formulas. Um, the only difference is that sometimes they'll throw in either specific gravity like this or they'll throw in specific weight and I didn't do a uh, specific weight because it's actually a, a lot easier than specific gravity um, if they give you a specific weight you use that number instead of 8.34 so they'll say the specific weight of the hypochlorite is 10.5 pounds per gallon so you would replace that uh, or you would replace 8.34 pounds per gallon, which is normal in a pounds formula, with that specific weight of 10.5. Uh, but specific gravity, um, you, you do this in the equation in addition to 8.34. So uh, that's why I went ahead and did this. And so like I said, it's two Davidson pies, one will be performed backwards, and or one will be performed forwards and one backwards, and the backwards one will also utilize the specific gravity. So uh, let's do that. So. First thing we need to do is we have a flow, but it's in gallons per minute and not in million gallons per day. So if you look on your cheat sheet where it says 1 MGD equals 694 gallons per minute, that's what we need to divide this number by. So 5,000 gallons per minute divided by 694 gallons per minute per MGD. Gallons per minute and gallons per minute cancel each other out and you're left with MGD. And when you divide those, you should have 7.2 MGD. So now we have MGD, we have 8.34, and we have a dose. So now we can throw it in and find out how many pounds of polymer we're using. So 7.2 times 8.34 times 4.5 should give you 270 pounds of polymer today, or per day. Now we need to use this in our backwards pie. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, but first, this uh, polymer is 33% active. So it's 33% polymer and 66% um, other stuff. And uh, so, but we need to factor in just how much polymer is it. So um, again, if you look on your cheat sheet, 1% equals 10,000 milligrams per liter. So if we have 33%, 33 times 10,000 milligrams per liter per percent gives you a concentration of 330,000 milligrams per liter. Uh, that seems like a big number, but that's the correct number. Um, so that's going to be your concentration in this formula. So, uh, and remember, you're going to include the specific gravity in the bottom part of your pi. And when you draw out your pi, it should look something like this. So we've added that little section in there in addition to everything else. So uh, we have 270 pounds of polymer per day, and we need to know a uh, polymer feed pump setting in gallons per minute. So when you do all this, it's going to give it to you in million gallons per day, and we're going to have to do two more calculations to figure out um, gallons per minute. So 270 divided by 8.34 divided by 1.05 divided by 330,000 should give you 0 0.000093 million gallons per day. So we want to put that into gallons per day. So multiply that number by a million, and you should get 93 gallons per day. But they want it in gallons per minute. If you look up at your cheat sheet, it says one day equals 24 hours equals 1,440 minutes. So go ahead and divide this number by 1,440 minutes per day, and you should get an answer of 0 0.065 gallons per minute. So this pump, this polymer feed pump, when you set it right, should be about 0 0.07. 0 0.07 gallons per minute is what you want to feed to achieve a dose with this percent active. Uh, this whole number would have changed if it was, you know, 40% active or 50% active. The stronger it gets, the the less you're going to have to pump. So a fairly simple problem, um, it's just throwing this guy in instead of um, leaving him out.